Okay, so laying out where I gotta drill my tank. And I've got two holes, I've got one return, one drain and one return. And that's all they had and it was a little tiny, little tiny overflow box like this with just one hole, so no emergency drain, no nothing, and I have to have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bean animal style drain, three drains, and I'm gonna run two returns. So I'm gonna use this, this drain will be my main drain, be that size with a bulkhead. It's gonna be, go into the box and turn down and be a full siphon. And there'll be a valve underneath where I can limit the amount of flow, but it will be a full siphon. This one will be air vented. It'll come out and have an air vent on the top that goes around to the water level. So it runs vented, not as a full siphon and just takes up whatever this one can't do. But should the water level rise, it plugs that tube and creates a full siphon and then this thing goes full 100%. I've got uh, one of these. I'll get another one and I will have twins, one there and one there. I can tee them off and run them that way or I can put in two pumps and double the flow because those will take care of it. Like two one and a halfs at full siphon, I can't pump that much. And the last one here will be the emergency drain and it's going to end up coming out and sitting just shy of the rim. And what I've done is I've made it low enough that I can put a short piece of pipe in to uh, adjust the height and I'll sand this so the pipe can just slide up and down. And I may end up actually just drilling here and tapping with a plastic screw so I can just lift and low raise and lower the emergency water level but uh, once I get all that plumbed in in here I'm going to get a piece of PVC and make the weir so the weir will be out about four inches uh, whatever it takes to clear the plumbing that comes in there um, because you have end up with you have a threaded piece here and then by the time you get an adapter and then your elbow, you're kind of screwed. I gotta try and find a, a street elbow that I can put in there. Or I may sand those grooves out and just glue in, but I don't wanna do that because I wanna be able to adjust. On the outside will be a T with a cap on the top. So you can undo the, the cap and clean, just run a brush down the pipes to clean them out. And so we come out here, T down, there'll be a pipe holder here and there'll be a union right there. So you undo the union, you can lift the tank off. This pipe holder will support everything else going to the sump. Um, but that'll be pretty much it. So this T won't be vented. No, I'm sorry. This T is the main drain. It'll be a full siphon, won't be vented. This T, We'll have an air line tapped into it and brought over and pinned down here right above the water level. This emergency brain drain will just be vented and full open. So actually it will be, yeah, it'll be full open because it'll be point, the elbow will be pointing up. That's the plan. Now all I gotta do is find a drill and get the balls to do it. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye.